It could be the ultimate showcase for rolling safety tech, or the ultimate car for folks who really don't like cars. Let's find out. The base audio system in this car is an AM-FM in-6 disc with WMA and MP3 support. You bump that up to the Dyn Audio package and you get a whole lot more of everything. You end up with Dolby Pro Logic 2 for a synthetic surround that usually sounds pretty good. Okay, let's talk about safety gear, the stuff that is truly Volvo-esque and that you wouldn't find in other cars. Let's begin with Bliss. No, I'm not that happy about the S80. Bliss, B-L-I-S, Blind Spot Information System. It's these lights. You see one here and one over on the other door, right there on the uh, corner of the pillar. That is an indicator of someone being in your blind spot, either starboard or port. It's going to let you know as a car moves into that section behind the vehicle, and you'll see the light goes on. There it is right there. And it stays on until the car passes you on the left or on the right. Next up on our tour of safety wonders is adaptive cruise control. Now, that's not unique to Volvo by any stretch, but theirs works really well. I set my cruise with that button there. Then I adjust my speed. In this case, I'll set it to a ridiculous 95. But I'm not doing 95, I'm doing about 64 because the adaptive cruise knows I've got a truck in front of me. See him right there, and it's going to maintain the distance that I've set with this button right here, either less distance or more distance. Now, using that same adaptive cruise hardware, this vehicle also has collision warning and distance alert, two distinct but related features. Collision warning's going to beep and flash a light when it says you're about to rear end somebody or something, and it will also apply the brakes a little bit. Not all the way, but it'll help soften the blow. The distance deal is simply activated to let you know when you're following too closely. So it's a less urgent version of that, and it doesn't ever apply the brakes. Lane departure warning system is available on our car as well. So if you've got that engaged and you start to drift, hear that beep? It'll let you know that you need to get back in your lane. Now, it doesn't do anything about it. it just makes that noise to wake you up and say, hey, stupid, you're about to drift into oncoming traffic or off the shoulder. What we do have on this car is also a driver alert system. So if you're getting drowsy, it's going to beep and it'll put up a coffee cup icon on the screen. It figures out if you're drowsy from a lot of subtle cues. For example, have you been going a steady speed, driving straight for a long time? Have you been modulating the steering or just kind of sitting in one position? Okay, enough with the safety gear. Let's talk about the power that will propel you into a situation where you need it. In this car, it comes from an inline six that they call a T6 because it's turbocharged. It's a three liter motor, delivers 281 horsepower, 295 foot pounds of torque. This transmission is your only choice. It's a six speed automatic, what they call Geartronic. That means you can do this. You've got a shiftable gate on the right. That whole apparatus delivers a relatively uninteresting 1523 set of mileage numbers. Not great this day and age, but this is a big car. And it's also all-wheel drive, I should point that out. So there's a little more going on in the powertrain that is causing some drag and adding some weight. Okay, let's price our S80 turbo six-cylinder with all-wheel drive. About $43,000 base. Now that's the base audio system. You're going to add 16 something for the Dyne audio. One of the bargains, I think, though, is that big basket of collision avoidance and safety technologies. Just $16.50 for all of those, which could be ideal if you're one of those folks who every time you get behind the wheel are certain you're going to end up in a place like this.